Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about how to unclog ears during a sinus infection. I guess our first question is, what is a sinus infection, and how do you know you have one? Well, the sinuses are four air spill, air filled pairs of spaces within the skull. These make the skull lighter and allow us, our voices, to resonate so that they make more and better sounds. Sometimes when you get sick, these spaces fill up with fluid. That fluid can become infected and be filled with pus instead of just plain fluid. So the first question is, what's going on in the sinuses? Well, most inflammation in the sinuses is a result, result of a viral infection, like cold, for example. There are thousands of different viruses that cause colds, but the good news is they almost always go away on their own without any intervention, so you really don't need to do anything about them. How do you know, though, when a bacteria has come in, when you no longer have fluid in your sinuses, but pus? There are a few clues. Fever with a cold should usually last only about three days. So if you have four days of fever, that's a good sign you have a sinus infection. The runny nose from a cold should last somewhere between 10 to 14 days on the outside. So if you or your child has a runny or stuffy nose for more than 10 to 14 days, it's time to get evaluated for a potential bacterial rhinosinusitis, we call it. Uh, if you have a fever or your child has a fever over 104 degrees, that's pretty unusual for most viral infections, and it deserves a look-see by your or your child's doctor. Now, if you do have a bacterial sinus infection, the best way to clear it out is to treat it with antibiotics, at least in children. Interestingly, in adults, antibiotics have not proven to be all that effective, and we're now more interested in using medications like inhaled nasal steroids to shrink the inflammation in the nasal passages and allow the sinuses to drain. Another completely over-the-counter, completely medicine-free approach to draining sinuses is to use a neti pot. You've probably heard of these. It just looks kind of like a teapot or a genie's lamp that introduces salt water into the nasal cavities. That does seem to reduce the inflammation and help get some drainage to come out. So, Depending on what's wrong with your sinuses, why they're full of fluid, you can drain them either by waiting for the cold to go away, by using a neti pot, or by seeking care from a physician if you think you have a sinus infection and finding out whether you might need nasal steroids or antibiotics. Talking about draining sinus infections, I'm Dr. David Hill.